Well, the rain has eased off in the past few minutes, but for the past few hours, we've had uh, torrential rain uh, in these areas. This is the first rainfall uh, that they've had in several months. In some areas around here, it's the first rainfall they've had since March. And certainly in regards to uh, dampening down that fire, uh, it's very welcome. That fire is around 80% contained at the moment by uh, the authorities. Uh, but this rain, of course, uh, uh, the firefighters hope will kill off that final 20% of the fire. But with uh, this rain comes more problems as well, as you mentioned, the problems of uh, mudslides. Uh, there is also, of course, uh, the, uh, the problem for the evacuees. Many of the evacuees aren't staying in hotels or recovery centres. They're staying in tents at the moment. So uh, for those people, uh, this rainfall is certainly pretty uh, unwelcome. Uh, there's also, uh, of course, the uh, added challenge to those recovery efforts. Still hundreds of people missing, uh, many of whom presumed dead, uh, as the authorities try try and identify uh, remains, try and search out for those uh, uh, people that are still missing. This rain complicates those efforts. Uh, and in addition to all of that, uh, the toxic uh, ash that we find in many of the valleys around here after the fire, uh, the, the, uh, the authorities are worried about that being washed uh, into rivers and streams uh, and infecting the local water system. So uh, although this rain is welcomed by many people, it certainly does bring in with it uh, plenty of new problems problems for the authorities here in Northern California. Exactly, more problems. And there's also been some criticism from the authorities. Tell us more about that. Yeah, some criticism from, from survivors uh, from the fire about the way in which the authorities alerted to them uh, in the hours before the fire. They say that the uh, warning system simply wasn't up to scratch. Uh, the warning system was a, a phone call system, uh, but you had to opt into that system. Uh, there was no sort of mandatory alert that was sent out to people's mobile devices. Uh, local officials said they didn't have that sort of system in place because they feared if they sent out an alert to uh, all these people in affected areas that might cause traffic jams on the local highways. Uh, I've been speaking to one uh, survivor uh, in the past few hours. Her mother died in these fires and she's very critical of the authorities and feels uh, like uh, uh, her mother's uh, death uh, is the responsibility of the authorities because of the uh, lack of a system that they had set up. So I think in the months ahead, uh, as uh, local officials around here uh, look at what they could have done better, that will certainly be one of the things they look to address uh, because we know now now, these, uh, these huge wildfires have happened for the past two years, and many experts say that uh, this may be an annual event now uh, in Northern California.